Pour it in, pour it in, pour it in. Where the gang get? Mm. Where the gang get? Where y'all at? Where the yo that gang get? Yo that MM, what's going on? What's going on? You know we here to talk about. Let's talk about it. What's going on? Here y'all. Okay, okay. Y'all feeling in now. I see y'all. I see y'all. Scooby-Doo, yo that. Yo that, what's going on? We're going to wait for a little more to come in. Pause. And uh, <laughs> we got to talk. Dragon Fruit. Listen, shout out to LB. I know he be going on his lives and he be having... The, uh, the Starbucks, uh, John. But listen, I'm from the hood. We ain't got no damn Starbucks, all right? Um, well, I live in the hood, should I say. So, uh, excuse me. LB definitely from the hood, too. That's my guy. But uh, we do wild wild over here. We ain't got no Starbucks, so we try and get one. Uh, yo, that. Yo, that from way out North Philly. I'm in West. West Philly, the best Philly. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Yo that, yo that, yo that. Listen, man. The merch, the link is 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 in the description to get the merch. We got the yo that t-shirts, the Philly Fresh t-shirt. We got the hats. We got all that, man. This is what we do over here. Once again, I definitely want to uh thank all of y'all, man, um, for your prayers and your and, and, and your comments and your good words while I was in the hospital last well, last couple weeks. Um, but as you can see, your boy is back, feeling better than ever. And uh, we need to talk. We need to talk. I give you that, fam. You already know, Dennis. All right, so we need to talk. So I've been saying this for a while. I've really been saying this for a while. Hold on. I don't know what's going on with my, uh, my AirPods. They just went out. I've been saying this for a while, y'all. And I've been saying that Josh Sweat is the next, is the next thing. I've been saying that Josh Sweat was better than... Better than Derek Barnett and probably better than a lot of situations that we had in a little while at the defensive end. When you really think about it, I'm talking about a young guy. You know what I mean? Guy, a guy that we drafted. Fourth round, Chris Long himself agrees with you. Thank you, M.M. Um, it's, it, it's, it's the athletic ability and it's also the size. Being 6'4", almost 6'5", and being able to... Just be athletic like that. He's more athletic than Dari Barnett, and you're born with that. That's nothing that you can really do. Um, his motor is better, and he's faster, and he has more moves. You know what I mean? Um, so it, we're, I'm not surprised that he got paid before Derek Barnett. Not even going to lie to you. But what does that mean for Derek Barnett? Because we ain't going to sit up here and act like, Paying Josh Sweat doesn't mean that Derek Barnett is probably not going to get paid by the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's keep it tall like City Hall, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button for your boy, please. I appreciate it. Let's keep it tall like City Hall. Derek Barnett probably will not get paid by the Philadelphia Eagles. He'll probably get traded. They're probably not going to let him walk because he's a first-round pick. They're going to try to get something. So you might see Derek Barnett going by the trade deadline. Derek Barnett probably will be not, not a Philadelphia Eagle by the trade deadline, especially if we're competing, which I think that we should be, and I think that we are, and it's something that you need, something that you're missing, like a veteran wide receiver or maybe another corner or a safety, depending on how Rodney McLeod's going to look when he comes back. Um... Or if you want to go try to see what another linebacker would do. Oh, just, just it's certain things that you can get. Or if you want to go to draft pick, what? I mean, it looks like if Carson wants to stay healthy, we're going to have three draft, three first rounders already. So why not add on to that? Um, But he might shine somewhere else also. Not even going to lie. 
Shout out to uh, Derek Barnett and everything that he does being a first round pick. And also, you know what I mean? Having that fumble, picking up that fumble, you know, by Brandon Graham in the Super Bowl, selling the deal. Basically selling the deal for the Philadelphia Eagles to win their first chip. He was there. He was a rookie. He definitely was there. But that was the best season that he had. And he has really been absent since then. And Josh Sweat has come in and does and did nothing but be good. Now, he has had his injuries. But when we talk about pressures at the defensive end, when we talk about quarterback hits at the defensive end, when we talk about um, stopping a run, tackles for loss at the defensive end, Josh Sweat name comes up first. We love Derek Barnett, everything that he does. He definitely, like... Like, he sets tones. Like, against Atlanta last week, and we're going to talk about the Atlanta game. Against Atlanta last week, he set the tone with that hit on that running back. I can't really remember his name right now. Martin or something like that. Who cares? We smoked them dudes. But that hit changed everything. They was going up and down the field. They wasn't scoring, but they was going up and down the field. As soon as he put that head on them, it just seemed like everything changed. And that's what could happen. A, a, a interception, a turnover, or a hit like that can change that. So shout out to Derek Barnett for that. But when we, we talk about these pressures, when we talk about these tackles for loss, when we talk about these quarterback hits, Josh Sweat is at the top of the list when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles. And it might be per snap. It might be around the league if you really want to dive deep into the situation. Why ain't I getting none of y'all comments? What's going on? Uh, yo, did you think we should get rid of Barnett at this point? We still need death. But do you want your first round pick to be death? That's the problem. That's the problem. Um, I probably wouldn't get rid of him. But here's the thing. If you don't get rid of him uh, d during the trade deadline... Then you got to pay him. He's basically on a franchise tag. Basically, he basically on a franchise tag. They got him like a little one-year deal situation or whatever the case may be. But you're going to have to pay him next year or this upcoming off season. So me personally, if you're not going to pay him and you got a guy that's better than him that you already paid, you're paying him more. Than, you're paying you're paying Josh Sweat um, more than ten million dollars a year. I think he's getting paid more than Hargrave when you when you when you look at the yearly the yearly situations. So you got a situation like that, he's getting three million uh, 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 three years, forty million dollars, right? And then you got a guy basically who's his backup that shouldn't be. Who's the first round who's the first round draft pick and should be the franchise guy. But stuff like that happens. Look at Jeremiah. Like, it, the Philadelphia Eagles are so funny. Your late-round draft picks, and I and I have made a video about this, I want to say six, seven months ago. Our, 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 our late-round draft picks and our, our, our um and our unrestricted free agents, go look at go look at all of them for the last couple years, and then look at our first round draft picks. They have produced way more. Then our first round, second round draft picks. These are facts. These are facts. Now, Josh Sweat was in a fourth round, so it's not that late. But it's later than the first. It's later than the first. I thought the activity is 50. Uh, they activated a fifth-year option. Yeah, they activated a fifth-year option. But you have to pay that fifth-year option. When, when, when... When he first got his first contract, it was for four years, right? They already paid him for that, but they got to pay him. When you activate the fifth year, you still got to throw that on top. It goes on the, on, it goes on the uh, what you call, but you're basically paying him for a one-year deal. You get what I'm saying? So you're paying him for one year, and he got to get paid next year. So just because of that, I probably would trade him and, and, and you know, hope the best for him. What's good, Fresh? What's good, BL? What's good? Yo, that 2018 turning out to, to be a solid draft. How about that? How about that? And that was a draft we only had like five picks. What we, what, who, who, who we had? Do, uh, Dallas Goddard, Josh Sweat, Avante Maddox, 
Um, we ain't have a first round pick that year. And it was somebody else. You absolutely right. Everybody damn everybody is a damn near starter. Eagle Slayer, yo that. What's going on? Damn near everybody from that draft is a starter. We paid Barnett, but then he restructured. We paid him what? No, we paid him from his rookie contract. He don't have nothing. He don't have nothing after his rookie contract. He don't have nothing uh, uh, from his rookie uh, after his rookie contract, bro. Uh, M.M. Malata. Malata was a seventh round pick at eighteen, or was it nineteen? You ah, uh, you might be right. You might be right. Seventh round pick it. Ooh, all starters. It's crazy. Now I'm gonna make another. Vi I gotta make this video probably tonight. How he hit in 2018. Now we gotta see what Dallas Goddard is going to do at being a starting tight end. But when you look at it, it looked like how he hit in 2018 on everything. Matt Pryor. Matt Pryor not here no more, but um, he definitely held down held down some forks. He definitely held down the fort for a while. Uh, damn, that was 18 too. So how many? So we had five or six or uh, six players. I thought it was five players that we had that we drafted that year. I swear we only had like five picks. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Fully fresh. Can I get a wrench? Yeah, I got you. That's for you. Take that. Take that like Diddy. Got you. Uh, but he restructured. Yeah, everybody saying he restructured. I'm not saying that. I'm saying he has to get paid next year. I get the restructure, but he still has to get paid next year. There's no more money after this year. So, yeah, they have five. Okay. Thank you. That's what I was waiting for somebody to do. Goddard, Maddox, uh, Sweat, Pryor, Malata. That's a bona fide draft. Because they're all starters except for Pryor, and he's gone. All those guys are starters. Starters for the Philadelphia Eagles. Wow. Wow. Shout out to Howie. Because your 17 draft was ass. Your 17 draft was ass. Or was it 16? Was it 16 or 17 with the with the Matt Hollins? I think that was 17. The, the Matt Hollins, Derek Barnett, the, the Sheldon Gibsons. None of them dudes is on his team right now, except for Derek Barnett from 2017. Appreciate it, Fresh. You already know. Yo, that. You my guy. None of them guys are on this team from 2017 except for Derek Barnett. Think about that. And Nathan, Ga and Nathan Gary. No, Nathan Gary not even on the team. What I'm talking about? I'm tripping. That's another draft uh, from 17. Nathan Gary. Like, his draft in 2017 was horrible. Horrible. Pryor did, Pryor did get traded. I know. I know. I just said that. Yo, and what's good? Yo, that. What's going on, man? Y'all see the shirts, man. Yo, that, man. Come on, man. Cop the merch. It will be in the description. <laughs> the hats. The fully fresh. Uh, you, Come on, man. You know what we doing over here. Let's get back to Josh Sweat, though. Let's get back to Josh Sweat. When you look at it, top guy in pressures, top guys tackle for loss. Yo, I'm going to do a video, try to do a video this week um, when I get some time and break down some of the tape of him tracking down running backs from hash, land, uh, from, from hash mark to the other side of the field, other hash mark. Literally tracking running backs down. This dude is a beast. I've been saying this since we drafted the dude. He's, no, I, I, all right, I'm going to say 2019, I was saying it. 2019, I was saying it because I seen it. I seen the athleticism. I seen the strength. I seen the different moves that he can do. If I just said if he put all of that together, he's going to get paid. I see that merch out, out, out. I seen, I need that merch out here in Houston. Yo, all you got to do is go ahead to what you call this is also how you can get a free shirt. Go to my last video and comment. Just for everybody. This ain't this ain't just for school. Go to my last video. Comment. The question is, 
Y'all know I give a free giveaway every single week when the Eagles play. Uh, I got my do's and don'ts on Friday. And what I do is, is I sit there and I give y'all, well, this, uh, ask y'all a question. Well, how many yards is this guy going to have? And yada, yada, yada. Those who follow me, they know what's up. And I do the free giveaway. The free giveaway this time is you can pick any shirt, any shirt that you want. I'm going to send you the link. You tell me what shirt you want. I'm going to get it sent right to you. Shout out to Print Champs. They're going to get that thing done. So if you comment, go at, after we watch this, though. Don't, don't, don't leave until you watch this. But after that, go to my last video, right? Comment and let me know how many yards Gainwell is going to have rushing and receiving combined. You give me those, the, the closest person to it or the person that hits it on the head, Hey man, you got you got had you one of these. You got had you one of these or whatever whatever flavor you I got more flavors than annihilators. So whatever flavor that you like, it'll be coming straight to you. Uh what's going on? Uh so we're gonna get back to the sweat situation, right? We're gonna get back to the sweat situation. Dude has been a beast. Um I think he deserved the money. I think after they seen what they seen against Atlanta, the the stuff that I've been saying, I think they understood that. But here's the thing: it's easy when it's easier when you you you're trying to get money. It drives you warm when you're trying to get paid, and you're and you looking at the coaching staff, and you looking at the uh, the front office, and you looking at the organization, saying, "Yeah, look at me." Look at me. Look at what I can do. I can get. I need to get paid. It's di it's, it's different when you finally get paid. Now I'm not saying anything is going to change. I hope it doesn't. But I do. I have seen it happen. People fall off, and not only that. Times like this, when if he was getting paid in the off season, a lot of people wouldn't have seen it, right? So, people, other teams, are going because it happened on a Saturday when there's really nothing to do but watch college football, but you're going to get that da -da -da, da -da -da, and people are going to see that he's getting paid. So now, wait, they gave him 40 million? Why? Let's go look at the tape. Now people are going to be zoned and tuned in on you more, right? But that's scary for, that's scary if you got to go against a guy like Brandon Graham. If you want to try to double sweat, because he got paid, you're in trouble. You are in trouble. You just seen what Hargrave did because y'all wanted to double flex your cocks every freaking play. Atlanta. Hargrave dog walked y'all. Dog walked y'all. You know what I mean? It took a little time to finally get. I guess I guess they wore it down on the offensive line of Atlanta. It did take a little time to get to Matt Ryan, but once they started getting to him, it was over. It was over, Rover. You know what I mean? So. Listen, man, the defensive line is scary. Josh Sweat deserves the money. Um, and when you pair him, when you pair him with a hard grade, with a Fletcher Cox, and then you got um, Brandon Graham, the veteran. You got Brandon Graham, the, 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 ultimate, the ultimate eagle. Brandon Graham is really like... Um, He's really like in his own way. Uh, 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 let me know. Hey, hey, G uh, James, uh, uh, Pio, what's going on? Gene Pio, what's going on? Sorry, what's up, Gene? Yo, that. Um, cause I'm trying. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to say this right. When you look at how Weapon X was to the defense, not just on the field, but off the field, giving the speeches, doing this and doing that. Now, Brandon Graham got his own way of doing things. He's very loud and obnoxious to the opposing, the, 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 the opposition, right? But he's the one that gives the speeches. He's the one uh, we all we got, we all we need. He's the one saying those things. He's the one that's piping up everybody. He's the veteran. He is the ultimate eagle, Brandon Graham. You cannot argue with me about that. He is the ultimate eagle. Everybody talks about uh, Brian Dawkins, which they should. But Brandon Graham is right there. 
and Brandon Graham got a got, <laughs> Brandon Graham has the the has and there's no debate about this. I'm sorry. I understand there might be some better flashier plays. I understand there might be some plays that when you look at it, they're sexier or they scored or whatever the case may be. But Brandon Graham has the most important play in Philadelphia Eagle history. You cannot debate that. That strip set against Tom Brady is the most important single play in Philadelphia Eagle history, and there's no one even close. No one even close. I'm sorry. I understand. You want to say to Zach Ertz, the yada, yada, yada. No. No. That play. They didn't get not one sack on Tom Brady the whole game. The whole game. Not one sack. And he comes through in the clizzage. Brandon Graham has that hardware. I'm trying to tell you, man. BG needs a retiring eagle. He do. It's guys that you want to get rid of to get some value for them before, like, their prime is over. Brandon Graham is not one of them dudes. He means so much to the team. He means so much to the team, not just on the field, off the field also. He probably one of the reasons Josh Sweat got paid. Listen, young boy, let me take you under this wing. I'm trying to tell you, man. Glad you feeling better, fresh. You and I got to collab soon. I got you, BL. I got you. Hey, Miss Fresh, can't wait. Can't wait to win. You yo that shirt this weekend. Glad you feeling better, though. I appreciate you, Eric. Hey, man, uh, did you comment? Did you comment? I got you. I got If you win, I, that thing going to be coming expeditiously for you. I got you. But uh, if y'all know what he's talking about, once again, the free giveaway. If you want to know what the... Uh, what to do you got to go to the last video i just posted yesterday but the free giveaway will be a shirt of your choosing if you want the fully fresh shirt you want the yoda shirt a, a shirt of your choosing you tell me what you want and i will send it but you gotta win you gotta win the giveaway i you know mean all right so i just want to ask y'all i i i want to ask y'all y'all can just say yes or no do y'all agree with me that Brandon Graham's play strip set on Tom Brady was the most important play in Philadelphia Eagle history. If you don't, if you don't agree, cool. But I just don't think that you can debate me on. But if you don't agree, you you know you might like the, the you might like the Zach Ertz touchdown, the go ahead touchdown, or whatever. You might like this, you might like that. But the 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 fact of the matter is, they was getting no really no pressure. It was no doubt. Appreciate you. Yup. Yup. MM 100%. Yup. Um, the fact of the matter is, they was getting no pressure. And Brandon Graham, they put him in the inside and he snuck in. Brandon Graham was cooking our secondary. Brady was cooking our secondary. Yo, you know what's crazy, MM? I said this after the game and people thought I was tripping. I ain't have, I ain't have a page yet. But I always talk my Eagle stuff. This is what I do. I said, after everything calmed down, I went to the parade and all that kind of stuff. After a week later, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, if we would have lost that freaking game, Jim Schwartz would have been thrown the hell out of Philly. 505 yards you get thrown on, you don't change your defensive set. You don't double Gronkowski. He threw the Gronkowski like five straight times. You don't throw the Gronkowski. You don't change up none of your defensive set. Tom Brady can just sit there and say, oh, he that defender's going to be there. That defender's going to be there. I'm going to pick you apart. And that's what he did. 505 yards, that's freaking embarrassing. But we won. We won. So since we won, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't really nothing to argue about but i always had that in the back of my mind and i and, and and even after that i felt as though jim swartz was a bad defensive coordinator because he don't make adjustments and hopefully this is something that that gannon continues to do because let, let's keep it tall like city hall y'all gannon made some adjustments in that in that game in atlanta 
Jonathan Gannon made some adjustments, man. Like, when you look at how they was running the ball, he was playing cover two because he wasn't scared, but he was trying to protect the young talent. He was trying, trying to protect um, a new system, and he wasn't trying to get burnt. And I understood that. So he was playing cover two, and they just running the ball, running the ball. You got two high safeties. So when you got two high safeties, it's way easier to run a ball because of um, the numbers game. Basically, your linemen and your wide receivers can get after um, your, 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 your uh, linebackers and your, and, and your corners and your safety easier because it's two guys high. So that means somebody's either getting doubled on, a, on, on somebody's getting blocked with a double or it's just another guy out there ready to pick somebody, ready to pick somebody. So once he's seen that, it might have took him a drive, a drive too longer than I than I like or than I expected, but he did make the he did make the adjustment of playing cover one and playing a four three. So when he plays the four three, now you got to match up. Everything is match up. You don't got no no free guy, and that's when you started to see the run get stopped. So this week you're gonna have to do the same thing. The 49ers, no matter who it is, well not this week tomorrow. Tomorrow, you're going to have to do the same thing. The 49ers, no matter who it is, whether it's a Moster, whether it's a Williams, whether it's, if it's me, they like to run the freaking football. And they do it in different different ways. They have a good offensive line. They do it in different ways. They get Debo Sanders on the edge. They get all, they get the other uh, wide receivers on the edge. So we got to understand that as, as, as a football team and a defense, and Jonathan Gannon got to make sure that he's ready for that. You know what I mean? If you're not getting pressure in the middle, you can find yourself in a situation. Josh Wett is going to have to play a big part. You just got paid today. Let's see what you do tomorrow. Because those end of rounds and those, uh, and those screens and all that kind of stuff, he's going to have to do what he did in Atlanta. And once again, I'm going to tell you, he was all over the field in Atlanta, yo. He was all over the field. Shout out to... Um, Shout out to Breaking Birds. Breaking Birds broke it down, and I thought he did an excellent job. A lot of people, uh, Kevin, yo, that. A lot of people go to Baldy. <sighs> Baldy know what he's talking about sometimes, but this dude Breaking Birds, I think he, I think he, I think he's excellent at what he does. He's an Eagles guy, you know what I mean. If y'all don't know who he is, Breaking Birds is an Eagles guy, and um. <clears throat> He's good at what he does. And he did a join on Josh Sweat. And it's amazing. Antonio, my guy, man, my guy, yo, that. What's going on? And I'm not going to lie to you. And, hey, 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 Antonio, man, I need that, uh, I need that BBP logo, man. We trying to do something. Shout out to BBP also. Y'all already know we, we should be going. What's going on, Kevin? Yo, that. We should be going. We, uh, we should be going live tomorrow around like 11, 11, 15, 11 30. You know what I mean? Shout out to BBP. Y'all already know how we do pregame, postgame. Talk to y'all. Uh, shout out to uh, Philly Talk Podcast, aka Philly Mike, and also Gate City, aka Stephen Hyder. Those are my two guys, man. You know we like the locks of this stuff. You know what I mean? Um, we break down stuff like, like no other. You know what I mean? So shout out to them guys, man. But uh, back at the ranch, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. How y'all feel? Talk to me. How y'all feel about the game? Because I'm thinking we smoke these dudes. If you stop the run and make and make and make um Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo, whatever, however you say his name. If you stop the run, right, and make him have to beat you, they in trouble. They in trouble. I'm not even, I'm, 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 and it's not trying to play him or whatever the case may be, but he don't, first of all, he don't really got no legs. So it's going to be hard for you to get out of the trouble of these dudes that we got coming. Eagles winning or not, I'm concerned about the run. I'm concerned too, Ewan. I'm concerned, but at the same time, I think we can get the job done. 
you got my my focus would be on a run and make uh, Garoppolo have to have to throw the ball. He got to throw the ball, but if he has to throw the see, what helps with that is it's a reason why we were so dominant and the line was so dominant in 2017. You get out to an early lead. We kept getting out the early lead 2017, and now you have to throw the ball. And you do not want to throw the ball against this defensive these this defensive line. You don't want to throw the ball against Fletcher Cox. You don't want to throw the ball against Hargrave. You don't want to throw the ball against Josh Sweat. You don't want to throw the ball against Brandon Graham. You don't want to throw the ball against Carrigan. Should I go on? You don't want to throw the ball against these guys. So, Philadelphia Eagles, Jalen Hurst, Quez Watkins, uh, Miles Sanders, Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, Jalen Rager. Y'all get out to a lead. Get out to a quick lead. I'll tell nothing real fast. Scare them. Make, them. make them have to throw the ball and not run the ball. And they in trouble. Oh, I'm not forgetting game well. Hey, 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 Kevin, how can I forget game well, right? And he's in my free giveaway. He's in a free giveaway. So I definitely ain't forget about game well. You know what I mean? But uh, game well. Just think about that. Y'all get these guys in a situation to where as though they got to throw the football. We bombing on them. We, 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 we going to smoke them. We going to smoke them because that's what happened to Atlanta. Atlanta run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Uh, Gannon switched up. Now we start scoring. We start, we, we score right before the half. We scored, at, we scored after the half. And now you in trouble. Now you in trouble because now you're down two scores. It ain't no more running that bull crap. I like, dude, our offensive line is dominant. Jan, uh, uh, Gannon got these guys uh, ready to go. I agree. I agree. Sonic, yo, that. I agree. Like when you look at it and you really, and, and you really, really look at it, they was ready. They was ready. Now, did they have a little rust? Or whatever you want to call it, get the preseason out of them because they didn't play. Hey, Mike, yo, that I just was talking about it. That's crazy. Mike, you're going to live a long time. I just said your name. I just said your name, man. Shout out to you. Um, and shout out to BBP. Told, told them guys, man, we'll be going live around 11.15, 11.30 tomorrow morning. I mean, so be there, beware. Marcus, yo, that. So... When you got a situation with Jonathan Gannon, right? You got Jonathan Gannon, and he's making adjustments. He's stopping the run. Hurts, Hurts, swag, call. Yo, that, what's going on? Glad to see you back on your feet. Yeah, I'm good, brother. I appreciate it. I'm good, man. What's good, man? Where you been hiding? I just got out the hospital. I just got out the hospital, uh... Earlier this week, I ain't been. I never hide. I never hide, man. I'm all. I was in the hospital. I still was going live. I never hide. I never hide. Yeah, you know I mean, but um, you got Gannon, man, and it's going to look like he knows how to make adjustments. Now we're gonna see. Like we all know, the league catches up, and they get to now they get to see what your scheme is, or whatever the case may be. I don't think he has a scheme. I think he goes with the opposition. I think he he's training his defense to have all type of defense. You have seen cover two. You have seen a four or three. You know what I mean. You have seen cover one. You have seen all that in the last game. You have seen zone. You didn't see a stable defense like Jim Swartz and. That's what we gonna stick with. You didn't see that. I see you, man. Got his bag well deserved. Got his bag. Yeah, man. I try. I I ain't getting my bag yet. I ain't getting my bag yet. I'm gonna start talking greasy to these NFC East uh, 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 uh opponents, oppositions because they teams is trash. Now, it's gonna take me two, two to three games. You know what I mean? To really, I ain't going to say get the confidence to really see where this team is headed. Because I'm not a person that's just going to 
go crazy over one game. But we did smoke them dudes. That's a fact. If we smoke the 49ers, you, I'm getting my bag then. You ain't going to be able to shut me up. Especially the way uh, uh, Jones, first of all, jo Heineke look way better than Jones. Heineke looks way better than Jones, and that's a fact. It's nothing to even discuss. He threw the pick. If Daniel Jones would have threw that pick and, and, and situations was reversed, Daniel Jones threw that pick, the game's over. He came back, and you got to give him his respect. He went, he went to, uh, toss after toss after toss, and they was on the money. These passes was on the money. So shout out to him for that. You know what I mean? Um, and the Giants is trash. I mean, I think Washington is trash too because they keep talking about this defensive line. Which defensive line looks better? The Philadelphia Eagles or the Washington No Names? I'm not going to lie to you. Our defensive line looks better. We could talk about all the names and the sweat, the Montez sweats. We got the real sweat over here. The Montez sweat, the Chase Young. Them dudes look average. How many sacks they got? Three or four on the, on, the, on the season? We got five in one game. Well, it should be six because of the um the intentional grounding. It should be like six or seven that they cheated us out of. So I'm not trying to hear that, man. Our defensive line, it looks better. Now, I understand they only played two games, we only played one. But from what I've seen, they are not, that defensive line is not dominant. Ain't nobody scared of that. Like, when you look at the tape, ain't nobody scared of that. You going against the 49ers and, 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 and Nick Bosa. I would be more, I would be more, not scared, but I would be more concerned about the 49ers even, because let's not try to act like 49ers don't got first-round picks all on their offensive, uh, defensive line. They the ones that started it. And once again, if we smoke them, you will not, you will not, you will get tired of me. They going to get tired of me. Because Dallas looks trash. You, 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 um, I never, I never want people to get hurt. Victory, yo, that. He actually put them out the game. He actually put him out the game. Who, Chase Young? I want ball. I want. And that's another thing. Joe Judge, how in the hell is you a special teams coach? And your guy, and then somebody, a, a Giants fan sent me a video on uh, Twitter. And you know, I don't even really do Twitter like that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be better. Ryan, yo that. I'm trying to be better. So somebody sent me a video and said, it looked like he timed it right. And they got him going across. He was lined up on the ball. So all that stuff that you talking about trying to save face, no. He was, before the ball was snapped, the dummy was off sides. His dumb behind was off sides before he even snapped the ball. So don't send me these drones in my DM talking about some, they, 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 they cheated. No, they didn't. You even dumber for even thinking that that not even knowing what you're talking about. You sending me, you sending me these these DMs saying that this guy that the league is cheating us and y'all what the league I cheat y'all for? Y'all been 0-2 for five straight years. Ain't nobody need to cheat y'all. Y'all cheat your freaking self and cheat your fans. A lot of put TJ White out the game last year, laid him out clean. Go go look at the tape. Hey man, send it to me. Send it to me. I ain't see it. I ain't see it. Wishing you full recovery. I'm back. I am back. Appreciate you though. Appreciate you though. Uh, uh kills. 49ers need to be concerned about the defense. I just was saying that. I just was saying that. Especially if we get a lead. If we get a lead, the 49ers are dog food. They dog food. They, they are lunch meat. They'll, they'll lunch meat in the lion's cage, in the lion's cage. If we get a, if if we get a um a lead, because now you got to throw the ball. Jimmy G he can scramble. Um, I don't think he's that good. And now Flesh and Cox, Josh Sweat who just got paid, right? Um, 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 a uh, a uh, uh, Carrigan, Hargrave, Ridgeway, Fletcher Cox, all these dudes, all these dudes. 
mask right here, baby. I'm in the car by myself. My mask right here. I, I, come on, man. Stay on that. I just beat COVID. I just beat COVID. I ain't playing with it. I ain't playing. Even though I got the, um, I ain't going to get too much into it. You know what I mean? How I feel about the vaccine and all that. I ain't, I ain't getting that. I got, it's like, it's called the anti, it's called the, the, the anti something. After you have COVID, your body, you, you basically got like the vaccine. Cause your body is used to it and it's kind of, you got the anti something. I can't remember what it is, but it's kind of like stuff that's still in you. You know what I mean? Um, our defense needs to stay disciplined and keep everything in front of them. I agree. I agree. Uh, if we had a, if we had a lead, they're going to bring in Lance. I don't care. I don't care. Now I would rather see Jimmy G, but once we get the lead, I don't care what Trey Lance does. Once we get once we get a two score lead, I don't give a damn what Trey Lance does. Hello, Ella, I met yo that fresh print mask. Oh, my bad. Um, I gotta wait till October. See the way it goes, it's a cycle. You know what I mean? And it's quarters, so it's four quarters in a year. So every four quarters, I could switch things up and do this and do that. But they, but they coming. Pause. But yeah, yeah, they, they will be on the way. And I'm trying to figure out how I, I want some general shirts. Like the general, I want some uh, the general shirts. Um, I mean, so y'all can rock them, Jones. Um, and shout out to everybody, man. Um, if you if you cop a Yo That shirt, if you cop any Yo That merch, send me the pictures. I'm going to start putting them in my videos. I got to start promoting this uh, this drawing more. A lot of people saying that they haven't seen it. I don't know how. Um I guess they got to get up under that rock that they sleeping under. But if you, if, if you just do, do uh, DM me, you know what I mean? If you uh, at Philly Fresh 60 underscore 60 on Twitter and Instagram. You know what I mean, if the secondary and D-line starts fast to 49s in trouble, agree. Don't forget to like the video. My guy, yo, that. Hey, listen, Murph, we still got to do that interview, man, especially now. Sitting in that hospital for, you know, for the time that I was in there, got a lot of thinking, a lot of shit on my mind. You know what I mean? You know how I be, man. I mean, I I, I wish I had brought my fire stick or, or, or my PlayStation or something in that joint. I was in that joint watching basic cable. No HD. I was in that joint sick, Murph. I ain't even going to lie to you. But, uh, Murph, we definitely still got to do that. Um, You got my number. Text me, man. We I, I definitely still want to do that interview. It's, it's, it's way overdue. You know what I mean? Uh, Josh Sweat. Josh Sweat will be better at defensive line to get a lot of pressure and more potential. Yep. I'm ready, bro. All right, all right, all right. Text me when, when, when I get off of here. These things, these things going up. Y'all like the video more and more people will join. Yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. Definitely hit that like for your boy, man. Um, Definitely do, definitely do. I appreciate it. I appreciate all y'all that's in here. I got a new phone. I'm gonna DM you my number. I got you, bro. All right, so let's get go back to the sweat situation. We need to link my guy. A Burgay 31. Um, we definitely do. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I was in the hospital for two weeks, so I I really couldn't do anything. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. We definitely do. You grinding, and this is what I tell you can ask a guy like Lindsey Enzone. You can ask um just just er anybody that I ever dealt with. All I all I tell them is keep grinding. No matter how many views, no matter how many people say this, no matter how many comments, just keep grinding, keep doing you, keep being yourself. And it would I mean it it it's gonna it's gonna come out who you are. Don't be fake. Just keep being you. Keep doing what you do, and it's it's, it's going to turn out good for you. You know what I mean? You know how many times I was on the joint, felt like I was talking to my damn self, making a video when I first started. But just keep grinding, man. I see your numbers going up. I think you at like seven seventy five. Shout out to you. You know what I mean? Um, I'm definitely going to come on your channel though, cause you you definitely grinding, and that's that's what I support. You know how many dudes. You know what I mean? The made channels and now they they just stop. They not here. I guess because they don't like because they don't like that they not getting enough views or somebody might come in after them and get more views. That's just the way stuff is.
That's the way life is. Life ain't fair. You want you want something to be a fair is a place where they judge pigs. Fair is a place that they judge pigs. So back to the Eagles, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to you though, 31. Uh two for eight hundred. Okay, okay. Hey, listen, everybody in here is 27 people in here. Go to Bird Gang 31 and sub him up. The dude is grinding. He's doing everything that he can do. You know what I mean? I give y'all fresh facts every single day. And also go to Victory. My guy Victory just started a channel. Just started a channel, man. I probably the second person to sub him up. Shout out to Victory. Make sure y'all go sub up those two. Hey, camera. Where you been? Where you been? Everybody asking me where I've been. Where you been? But make sure y'all go sub them up, man. But come back. C come back to uh, see your boy after that, man. But, uh, yeah, shout out to uh, 31, man. Seriously. All right. So let's get to this Josh Sweat situation. Come on, Vic. You know I got you. All right. So let's get to this uh, Josh Sweat situation, man. And what it means for Derek Barnett. Because a lot of y'all wasn't in here when I first said it. I've been telling y'all, I mean, go go look at the tape. Go look at the old BBPs. Go look at 2000, 2019 stuff, like almost two years ago. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been saying Josh Sweat was the one. I've been saying he's better than Derek Barnett. And for him to get paid, right? He getting paid 10 million. He getting paid more than Hargrave when you look at when you look at the situation. He getting paid over ten million a year. He getting paid three years, forty million. You know what I mean? And the fact of the matter is that Atlanta game got him paid. That Atlanta game got him paid. And once again, I got to get with Breaking Birds, man. And because I love the way he breaks down. I, a lot of people like Baldy. No, I stick with my Eagles guys. You know what I mean? And Breaking Birds breaks down the way Josh Sweat was all over the damn field. He wasn't just making tackles for loss. He was hunting running backs down from, from, from hash mark to hash mark. He was going from one side of the field all the way to the other to make the tackle. He has a motor. He has a better motor than, than Derek Barnett. He has better moves than Derek Barnett. He's faster. He's stronger. Bigger, faster, stronger. Yes. All that. And also, he has more moves. Derek Barnett really don't got no moves. Now, they might have fell in love with Derek Barnett because of him breaking Reggie White at uh, record at Tennessee and all that. I get it. I understand it. The kid looked promising. But then when you got a guy, when you got a guy like Josh Sweat, who you who you stole in the fourth round, and we need to talk about, I said it earlier, we need to talk about that 2018 draft. All of them are starters except for Matt Pryor who got traded. And he started before. Every last one of them is starters on, in the 2018 draft. Think about it. Think about it. Goddard, Maddox, um, Jordan Mailata, and there's one more I can't remember who it is. Somebody please refresh my memory. I'm sure I had to delete my old account when I made my channel. As soon as I put, as soon as I put a new one up, you'll be the first one to uh, sub the originals. And Yo, Vic, I'm trying to figure out why you ain't got no uh member, man. What like what, what like where your membership at? My guy, my, my guy Murph got one. I see you, Murph. I'm just trying to figure out why you ain't got no membership. Mike, what's going on? I mean, uh Vic, what's going on? TJ Edwards. No, it wasn't TJ Edwards. Uh somebody said it earlier. Damn, I gotta try to find it. Ooh, I got a lot of comments. I don't know if I'm be able to find it, man. Uh somebody sent me the list earlier, man. Damn. All right. All somebody got to do is just go to is just go to um Philadelphia Eagles uh 2018 draft. Become a member, click join next to, uh I need my wrench back. I ain't take your wrench, Vic. What are you talking about? I don't know what happened. There you go, boom, man. Take that like Diddy. I ain't I ain't take your wrench. I don't know what happened. But um damn. Yeah, can somebody go uh 2018? I'm missing one player. It was Matt is Matt Pryor. Who got traded? It's um uh it's Avante Maddox, it's Josh Sweat, Jordan Malata is one more, and he starts. That's the crazy part. He starts. Who is it? 
I can't remember who it is. Sweat, Malata, Goddard. I ain't say Goddard. So, got, yup, it is Goddard. Karen, you absolutely right. It's Goddard. So, you got all star Pryor, Maddox, Malata, Goddard, and, um, and Sweat. And Sweat, MM. So, you got four starters and a guy that you traded who started before in that draft. Now, we grind Howie up about some drafts, right? Not that when you can't. He only had five picks, and he hit on every last one of them. What GM do you... Now, I, I grind I grind Howie up. I grind Howie up, right? When it is recommended. When, not recommended, but when it's deserved, I grind him up. On, the, on 2018 draft, he hit. He hit. He only had five picks. One, two, three, four, five. He had five picks. And he ended up hitting on every last one of them. And Matt Pryor, they traded for him and got something for him. So that's that's a double hit because he didn't start it. And then you got rid of him. Think about that. Think about that. Yep, Ryan, you're absolutely right. Dollar Scotter, Matt Pryor, Monte Maddox. You got Dallas got it twice. Josh Sweat. Josh Sweat. Who just got paid. Who just got who you just gave $40 million to. A fourth round pick. Yeah. Yeah. But then you got this 2017 draft, which you can just grind him up and kill him for. Like, think about it. 2017. Nobody is here except for Derek Barnett. Nate Gary, gone. Uh, Matt Hollins, gone. Sheldon Richardson, gone. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. You had like seven, eight picks in that draft, and none of them are here except for Derek Barnett. And he just got he just got jumped over by a guy who got picked in the fourth round. Dante, yo, that. This came from Spanking. Delusional Cowboys fan on Market Channel. What I miss? You missed a whole lot. I talked about the NFC East. I talked about how we the best. Uh, how we the best. I talked about how the Giants are a freaking joke. I talked about how somebody tried to DM me that play uh, when the guy was all sides uh, kicking a field goal. Delusional. Delusional. And telling me that he timed it just right. And they got this video of him going back and forth. Of uh, saying that he timed the snap. No, his dumb behind, his dumb behind lined up offsides. So it don't matter if he timed the snap or not. Dummy was offsides anyway. But uh, I mean, we talked about Josh Sweat. We talked about right now. We're talking about how he hitting on every last pick in 2018, but missing out, missing on every pick in 2017. It looked like because nobody's here. That's only four years ago. It's only four years ago. For real, for real. Four years ago. The year we won the Super Bowl. Nobody is here from that draft. Except for Derek Barnett. And he will not be here next year because they're not paying him. Every pick. Where's Sheldon Gibson? Where's uh, 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 Nathan Gary? Where's um, um, uh, 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 Matt Hollins? I mean, Dickerson starts... Dickerson, Land, Landon Dickerson, Landon Dickerson don't start, number one. Number two, he got drafted this year. Yo, Fresh, you think the linebacker's right? Mm. Here's what I can say. Our fastest linebacker has been fully practicing. That is major. I don't like Eric Wilson how I thought I would like him. It's only one game. But I don't like Eric Wilson how I thought it was uh how I thought it was. First of all, they gave him they gave him the first mic. I don't understand that. They mic'd him up. They mic'd him up. And first of all, he wasn't saying nothing. He wasn't saying nothing. He didn't entertain me. And he didn't entertain me on the field neither. I don't like what I seen from Eric Wilson. Not gonna lie to you. I like what I seen from Singleton better. Eric Wilson was missing tackles. Eric Wilson was getting juked out of his socks. And I don't like him if they're going to line him up with a Kittles. 
Kittles will probably destroy Wilson. That's scary. I want to make sure that they do how they did with Kyle Pitts and you got Avante Maddox on Kittles. Or you got one of these other safeties on Kittles. Yeah, man, I mean, much. Yeah, I ain't seen much from Wilson. You not, I, I, yeah. And I, I watched the game twice and I watched tape. All 22, all that. I did that. That's what I do. I might not show. I can't. I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to edit. I'm horrible at editing. So I can't really show y'all everything that I see. But we can talk about it. We can talk about it. He was horrible. He was horrible. Not even going to lie to y'all. And, and he made me mad. I used to play linebacker. So I know that position. He had me pissed. Singleton was was better than him. I'm sorry. Bradley was making more plays, and he don't start. But the 49ers, because I know that they're going to run the football, y'all going to have to buckle up. Because everybody grinds the, the defensive line up about the run game getting going. Yeah, but once the D, it's so easy to, it's easier to get past the defense. It should be easier to get past the defensive line to get past the running the linebackers because the linebackers are solely supposed to stick the the the, the tight ends and the running backs. So once they get past the defensive line, boom, they should be there. They should be there. At, I'm talking about the linebackers, and that wasn't happening in the beginning of the game last year. And if that happens tomorrow, it's going to be a different outcome than we think. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think that Gannon is going to scheme to stop the run and make Jimmy Garoppolo beat you, and I don't think that he can. But when he does throw for 300 yards, they like 12-0. and 0. Not even going to lie to you. Not even going to lie to you. But I don't know how many times he threw for 300, 300 yards. I mean, I don't know how many times he didn't throw for 300 yards. Should I say? Singletary got... Got Wilson beat by a mile right now. Yep. Yep. Uh, lead the league in tackles. Y'all know that? Singleton leads the league in tackles. Sometimes it could that could be good, that could be bad. Because if it's tackles and the guy six, seven yards down field every time, that's not that that means not, that tackle means nothing to me. I need some tackles behind the line of scrimmage. I need some tackles. Um, at the line of scrimmage. I need some tackles to log. I need some tackles to where as though it's third and one and you making that stop. But he is leading the league in tackles. Well, not now because uh, what you call played two games. Uh, played two games, uh, Washington um, and the bone ass Giants. That's what I'm saying. I said our fastest uh, linebacker is back and I hope that they play him. We got this tomorrow, bro. Bro, sucks I have work. Damn, sucks for you. You won't be able to see BB. You won't be able to see three important things. BBP pregame. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Gate City. The Philadelphia Eagles hopefully destroy the 49ers. At home, crowd just getting back. Crowd better be. Yo, if anybody going to the game, y'all better be rocking. I can't make it to the game, man. I got things I got to do, man. Y'all better be rocking. That link need to be shaking. Like how it was at the uh, the, the Vikings game, NFC Championship in 2007. Well, really 2018. That John need to be rocking. Seriously. Y'all just getting, fans is just getting back. And they disrespecting us. We are 3.5 underdogs at the crib at the crib yeah i said that i, I said that antonio i said that tone i said i said that bradley played better than um than wilson and he doesn't start it was rocking at mbs aka league and financial south where the hell is that at mbs lincoln financial south i don't know what you're talking about. i don't know what you're talking about mf Oh, you talking about Atlanta. Yo. Yo, why? Yo, why Eagles take over Atlanta like that? Why they do that? It it seemed like they do that to every NFC South team, though. Except for probably Tampa Bay. 
every and a, remember in 2017 they took over Carolina like that, the Panthers game. That's when I knew we was going to the Super Bowl that game. Tell you the truth, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Defense was uh, was crazy. Carson Wentz was crazy in that game. I thought we was the best team in the NFL after that game. Thursday night game, not even going to lie to you. That's when I said we was going to the Super Bowl. But the fans took over that joint. Yo, I know at least 30 people. I'm not even jo I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not trying to put some spice on it. I'm not, even though I'm at the Wawa, I'm not trying, at the Wawa, I'm not trying to put no gas on it. I'm not gassing this. I know at least 30 people that went to that game. Me personally, 30 people that went to that game. And it was rocking. It was rocking, bro. They done sent me video. Yo, they was there. They, you got Bow Wow. I don't know if y'all seen the video. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. You got Bow Wow ready to cry in the, in, the, in, the, in the back of the Phantom. He in the back of the Phantom ready to cry. What you ready to cry for? You in the back of a Phantom, man. You know what I mean? In the back of a Phantom, man. I drop. <coughs> Excuse me. I drive a freaking Durango. You in the back of a Phantom ready to cry, man. Get out of here with that bull crap. It's crazy, though. It's crazy. Shout out, shout, shout out to uh, But the fans definitely need to show up. The uh, defensive line needs to show up. The uh, we, I'm going to talk about this more in depth. And, um,. Make sure y'all tune into the live tomorrow. <coughs> um, but the most important, the most important matchup to me is Jordan Mailata versus Bosa. Everyone up here, please do not forget to smash. Appreciate you. I drive a freaking Durango. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I drive a Durango, bro. Like, drive. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, dog. My drone was like 40,000. 40, 40, you riding around you riding around 200 two two hundred thousand dollar car, man. Well, $500 car, excuse me. I don't know how much some drones cost. But anyway. <coughs> oh man, that boy had me that boy had me laughing at him. He like cool nut. Talking about every time they do this, Atlanta, why why is you even thinking Atlanta gonna do anything? Be realistic with your freaking self. They stink. They stunk since the Super Bowl. They have, <coughs> man, they have not got their mojo back since the Super Bowl. That shit is over. That stuff is over. Sorry. I don't like cussing on my channel. Y'all know that. Listen, I got to drink my Pedialyte. Got to drink my Pedialyte, man. I got to stay, I got to stay hydrated. I mean, I had the blood clot situation. So they saying I wasn't hydrated enough. The COVID, the COVID did that to me, but. I gotta drink Pedialyte, so I'm I'm just warning y'all. I don't want nobody to laugh because you see your boy drinking Pedialyte. I, 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 I gotta get my extra uh what's it called? My electrolytes. I gotta get my electrolytes right. I know it's for the babies, but it tastes good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Alright, so so we got a situation to where is though. <coughs> Jordan Mailata and Nick Bosa to me is the most important matchup, right? See y'all geek, see y'all geeking on me, man. Y'all geeking on me. Y'all geeking on me, man. Hey, MM, you see that? You see the drawing on, on on my intro? See the drawing on my intro, man. See the drawing on my intro. Damn, sucks. My girl almost died as well from it. Damn. I hope she good. I hope she good, bro. Listen, that COVID stuff ain't no joke. I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all always see that when I when I made my videos, I always had my mask on. You know what I mean? But I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Them joints ain't no joke. Uh, that joint, that joint had me, that joint had me tore up. And it wasn't even really the COVID that had me tore up. It was um <clears throat> it was the blood clot. It was a blood clot that had me tore up after the COVID because I was because the because the COVID had me dehydrated and I was messed up. The blood clot was was what tore me up. It wasn't even the COVID for real, for real. But it did it did that. So it was you get what I'm saying? Like like it it it, it, it get an assist for doing that to me. You know what I mean? Because it started from that. 
It's crazy. The doctors, first of all, if you a doctor, right? Let me tell y'all something before we get back 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 into the situation. Cause y'all know y'all y'all know me. I'll tell y'all my life. I ain't got no problem telling y'all what it is. Like I ain't ashamed of shit. Excuse me. I ain't ashamed of nothing. I'll tell y'all what it is. So, um, the doctor, first thing he come tell me after I get my x-ray, I they had to give me an x-ray, they had to give me a um an ultrasound, right? So he come in, and the first thing he say is, Tell me I got the blood clot. He's like, I never seen this before. Now I'm scared. Like, he like. Five minutes later, he's going into everything. He like, but you should be, you, you're going to be okay. okay? Dude, why you ain't tell me that from the rip? For the five minutes, for, since you said I never seen this before, and you are a doctor, and you said I never seen this before, I read about it, but I never seen it before, I'm sitting here like, yo, first of all, do this dude know how to treat this stuff? Second of all, what you mean? Like, how how difficult is this? Like, I, what, like... Am I going to die? Like, like, tell me something. And you keep going on and on and on about, um, you keep going on and on about the situation. And then you finally say, but you'll be all right. You should have said that from the rip. You should have said that from the rip. Damn, Vic, you had a, a drawing. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, I appreciate, uh, appreciate you, man. Yes, please hit the like for your boy, man. You already know. You already know. Oh, yeah. If there's some more people in here, I am giving a free giveaway like I always do before every Eagles game. You will be able to pick either a Yoda shirt or a Philly Fresh shirt if you win. If you want to know how to win the free giveaway, you have to go to the last video, figure it out. I said it earlier in the video. I'm not going to say it again. All right. We about to be getting off of here soon. The next time you will see me, I don't know if I'm going to make an official video today, but the next time you will see me, uh, a law willing, will be at 11.15 or 11.30 tomorrow. I got to get with the guys and see what's going on, and we will be going live for a pregame. Make sure y'all tune in. Be there or beware. You know what I mean? This is what we do, man. Like, we... <laughs> I appreciate all of y'all, man. Seriously, what you got, Vic? A lot of that people who are smart enough to figure figure out some of the toughest problems in biology aren't the smart enough to understand. It's, it's, it's social skills, Vic. Just because you you could be the smartest guy in the room. Like, look at look at um, what's the dude? What's the dude that play um, in that show, man? The Big Bang Theory, Sheldon. Look at Sheldon, one of the smartest dudes. I mean, he's a character, but look at him. One of the smartest dudes ever. His social skills is ass. His social skills trash. No, not house, not house. He ain't got no social skills neither. Uh, my, my my wife used to watch that John. He ain't got no social skills. He's just an asshole. Like he's a, he's a straight asshole. But um, I'm talking about the dude. Yeah, the dude. Damn, I just said the damn show. What the hell is the show? Uh oh, the Big Bang Theory. The boy Sheldon, he's smart, smart as crap. Ain't got no social skills. I mean, like, just because you, a lot of them is autistic. A lot of them smart dudes be autistic. They just don't, they just don't um diagnose them as that. But they be autistic, you know what I mean? And they don't got no social skills. So I'm not saying the doctor that I had was autistic or whatever the case may be, but Dude, you got to come better than that, pause. But you got to you you got to talk to people better than that. You know what I mean? <coughs> but yeah, I'm definitely going Yo fresh you drunk. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But um I'm definitely going to be getting off of here, man. I appreciate every last one of y'all, man. Make sure if y'all want to get that free giveaway, I'm telling you, all you got to do is go to my last video. I will tell y'all at the beginning of the video. Make sure you watch the video, too, because what I'm saying, I'm talking about Jordan Malata and Bosa. It is very, very important. And we're going we going, we going to discuss and get, get more into it in the pregame show. But I'm telling you, if Jordan Malata wins that battle, we might smoke them dudes. Seriously, we might smoke them dudes. Because to me, uh, Bosa on defense is really the only chance that they really had. 60 yards on the ground. 70? Damn, somebody got 130. Somebody just commented 130. 
for uh well i can't tell y'all y'all gotta go y'all gotta go to, go comment go comment go comment i'm getting out of here man i appreciate every last one of y'all before i get out of here um i want everybody to drop and let me know where you are um watching this at what city you in let me know check in you know what i mean before we get out of here go now you know what i mean where y'all at i know where mostly i know where most of y'all is at but i know where some people in here Rock my guy, yo that. What's going on? I know some people in here that ain't been co co uh, commenting. Damn, you in Alabama, bro? You in Al Alabama? DC, you in DC? Oh, you in the yeah, you in Opville. You you in the op you where the ops at, man? Washington, no names. I don't know what the hell going on. Everybody on the line gotta be on the aim. Third and something said, shout out to North Philly, man. Shout out to North Philly. Austin, Texas. Y'all be everywhere, yo. Shout out to y'all. I'm from Jersey, been in Texas now. Okay. You in Tucson? Mm. Okay. Yeah, it'd be hell for me. <laughs> well, I'm an hour away from Bird Gang. Damn. Y'all need to get together, man. This is what we do. Yeah, you know I mean, we, we we link people, and I will be getting with the rest of the content creators. We're going to try to figure out a game that all of us can go to, and we just shut we just we 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 just shut it down with all the YouTubers and all, and all of y'all also. You know what I mean, uh, used to be in Philly all, all the time. Oh yeah, where you used to be at? Where you used to be at, man? Let me know. Let me know. Let me let me know what part of the hood you know going to that dollars game uh, uh uh this week at dollars or you going to the one um you going to the uh the last one that's the last game right trey damn trey where you been bro damn bro where you been trey what's going on how you feeling man where you been bro oh yeah members all my members if you are a member in here right i will be going live with y'all very very soon and if you have not gotten your keychain, let me know. Because I still got... I still got a whole bag of them. I mean, they here. If you have not gotten your cheap keychain, talking to the members. Um, they here. Just let me know and I'll send, I'll send that joint ASAP. Even if... This is what I'm going to do for the members. Because y'all know I got two different cars. I got... I got the green. Y'all already know for the Eagles. Y'all already know. Fly Eagles. Fly. Boom. Right? I got the Yodats. Then I got the... uh, I got the red and green. Right? I mean, the, uh, the I, I got the... um, I said red and green. The red, blue, and white for the sixes. So, if you got one... And you want the other one if you are a member? Gotta get a keychain for. <laughs> Come on, you made them. Talking about you gotta get a keychain. You ain't keep one for yourself. I know you kept some, man. Get out of here, man. Need green one. I need you to be a member, man. I I, I got I, I gotta be fair to my members. I can't I can't get just get these to anybody because I got members that you know that show love. I mean, I'm not saying that y'all don't show love, but my members they gotta come first. You know what I mean? Remember, I did months ago. No, I just started this joint. I just started my members. I just started my members, Bird Gang, uh, last month. And I don't even think it's been a whole month. I, I just start, I started to join as soon as I uh, my merch came out. I wanted to do all that at one time. Do I hear after member giveaway? Ver did I hear after membership giveaway versus dollars? What you mean? What you mean, Eric? Did I hear? I give a free giveaway every single week, bro. Like, if you go look at my my, my, my last video I dropped yesterday, I'm giving a free giveaway. You just gotta guess right. You just gotta guess right. I'm 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 not I'm not giving up the tapes though. You gotta go watch the video. I give up every single Friday. At, uh, before the Eagles play, I give I, I I give a free giveaway. Whether it's um whether it's um a, uh, a gift card 
a key keychain and gift card, or you can pick your own shirt. This this week you get to pick your own shirt, and I will send it right to you. Shout out to the print champs. Yeah, free everything free. I don't charge nobody for nothing. You better ask about me. You better ask about me, Eric. I don't charge nobody for nothing. Anything that I do is out the kindness of my heart, and it's free. I don't charge nobody for nothing. Print Champ charges y'all to get these shirts. I don't even charge y'all. These the the, the the dumb Jones ain't my they, they they not my prices. They're their prices. You get what I'm saying? But uh, I do try to give as much uh, as much back to y'all as I can because I definitely appreciate all of y'all, man. I definitely appreciate all of y'all, seriously. But it's time for me to get up out of here. Once again, if you want to know how to get the free giveaway, go to my last video. It's going to say do's and don'ts. Jordan Mylotta versus Nick Bosa. All right? Appreciate all of y'all. Y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Make sure... Make sure y'all hit the link in the description. It shows you how to get shirts like these, hats like these, you know what I mean? And also, the members, y'all get stuff like this. But most importantly, man, stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that!